Yeah, but you have to examine this thing like a good couple of times before it actually coughs up the item. Like, you could, like, it takes at least two minutes, and I'm not going to do that, but it's there if you want it, so just... It's there if you want it, so just keep examining it, and if people think it doesn't exist, trust me, it does. I've gotten it. It, it just takes forever, and it's not even anything worth it, but... If you guys want to get it, go for it. Federal Police Department Internal Investigation Report. Raccoon City Police... Mr. Chris Redfield, Raccoon City Police Department, Stars Division. As per you, your request, we have conducted our internal investigation and discovered the following information. Regarding the G-Virus currently under development by Rilla, so far it is unconfirmed that the G-Virus even exists. We're continuing with our investigation. Regarding Mr. Brian Irons, Chief of Raccoon City Police Department, Mr. Irons has allegedly received a large sum of funds and bribes from Umbrella Inc. over the last five years. He was apparently involved in cover-up the Mansion Lab case, along with several other incidents in which Umbrella appears to have direct involvement. Mr. Irons has been arrested under suspicion of rape on two separate counts during his years at university student. He underwent psychiatric evaluation as a result of the charges, but released due to the circumstances some circumstantial evidence, as well as his phenomenal economic, academic standing. As such, extreme caution is advised when dealing with him. Jack Hamilton, Section Chief, Internal Investigations, United States Federal Police Department. Yeah, so... Yeah, Irons is a guy that's kind of insane. That's the best way I can describe it. He is insane. Really no other way to describe it. And uh, now we have to head back. The reason we have to head back is because uh, my knee hurts. No, no, not really. Well, my knee hurts is not the reason we have to head back. Is We have to head back to put the unicorn medal in that fountain thing to get the key. But yeah, Chief Irons is kind of a... is not really a guy that is... Uh, um, he's really insane. Considering, you know, rape on two accounts, get it, taking bribes from Umbrella for like five years. That's pretty, sh that's pretty fucked up shit right there. Oh my god, my knee is like in pain right now. Damn. Ah. Uh, okay. Ah! That actually made me jump. Okay. Ah, don't grab me. Ah, 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 get off me. Ah. Ah, that, ah. Damn. I probably should have gone to the item box. Ah, shit. Wait, there's an item box up here. And, it, you, you know, that, the reason you killed the liquor with the bonus, like, uh, crossbow is because, you know, shit like that. Okay, my knee is, like, really in pain right now. Motherfucker. Ah. Alright. I, I, yeah, I always forget that there's, like, an item box up here. Pretty cool. I love, I love this room in Dark Side Just because you can break all this shit. Just for the fun of it. And just get money out of all of it. It's pretty hysterical. In Dark Side case, though, you just, like, you go over there, find somebody... Not even the somebody, it's just... Well, yeah, that's the thing, you gotta be in the camera angle. And, uh... Put in there, FMV, that's, like, really pointless. That was, like, like that's, like, the shittiest FMV I've ever seen. It was, like, two seconds. And now we got the precinct key, and now we have to take it all the way back to unlock that one door around the corner. Well, not just that one door, but we have to unlock another door. I'm not going to be able to get to the uh, office in six minutes, am I? The secretary's office. But yeah, it is a good idea to kill the... Um, oh my god, my knee is like... Mm, I'm sorry about complaining about the pain in my knee. It's just like... Uh, it's a killer. It's a killer. Alright, uh, use the prank seat key. This is the spade key, by the way, so we can open this door and we can open one more. The spade key has, like, the least number of uses, as for a lot of keys in this game. Copy machine that does nothing. Um, some ink ribbons in here. There's... and... Alright, hold on, let me push this, uh, little chair back. Footstool, I should say. Uh, push it up here. Okay, I'm not sure about this. Like, th there's supposed to be, like... I, I remember handgun bullets being here in one case. I think it's probably just Leon A. Um, okay, take the crank that you need for one puzzle in this entire game. And I'm not even joking about that one puzzle. 
and uh, examine this to get their patrol report and receive report of suspicious individuals skulking around the series in the outskirts of Rackets today. Search the area and locate the injured individual, but he ran away before I was able to question him. I recovered the following items. A small amount of C4 plastic explosive, an electronic detonator, 9 by 10 a, a 9 by 19 parabellum browns in freight scope broken in the report. So yeah, it's uh, you'll learn about the like what like that guy in the sewer later. Yeah, you'll learn about why this guy is like in a like shit like that. All right, well um, I'm not gonna save, well at least not yet. I'm hoping that I will be able to do this all in four minutes, which is debatable. I kind of just want, I, I, I really, yeah, it's debatable. Fuck, 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 fuck. I like playing the B scenario more just because you can breeze right through it. Like, I've beaten this in, well, okay, wait, I've beaten B scenario in, like, one sitting. Like, yeah, I've beaten B scenario in, like, one sitting. Just because, like... When you're playing B scenario as Leon, you could just blow right through it. It's not even like it, it's more convenient to play B scenario than A scenario. And the other reason I'm talking about this is because like I'm backtracking. There's really nothing else to talk about while I'm backtracking. Oh, oh my God! It's a little girl. Oh God! Kingdom Hearts. Why am I thinking of Kingdom Hearts too? I'm kind of. Oh yeah. Is that guy dead? Eh? Well, uh, the little girl kind of went down here. Too small for me to get into. This guy's dead? Jesus, you suck. You took three shots. And here's the last of the precinct key, so we're going to discard it straight away there. Well, that zombie only died in three hits. I guess they made it not a... And Leon? You'll... Ex Leon. You I didn't take this cutscene into consideration. Fuck. Fuck. Have you seen a little girl around here? Have you seen a little girl? Who is she? I don't know. But it's too dangerous for her to stay here alone. Leon, I'll go look for her. You go and find us a way out of here. Of course. But before I forget, here's a radio. Have you seen a little girl? Keep in touch if something comes up. Okay, well, um, uh, yeah. Have you seen a little girl? Silent Hill 1 reference. Had to make it. Y yeah, uh, okay. Over here is some handgun bullets hidden. Now, this room is a major screw-over if you're playing Leon A, Claire B. Because in, in Leon A scenario and Claire B scenario, you don't get this cutscene. There's a bunch of fucking zombies right in this one room, and it's a pain in the ass. And Claire, you can use the lockpick here and get some flame rounds for the grenade launcher. Some awesomeness great grenade rounds. And since I didn't take that cutscene into consideration, I'm probably not going to be able to get to the secretary's office. I'm going to have to switch out the SD cards. Alright, here's a red herb over here. And uh, we should be able to go through the double doors, but I kind of want to do something now. Like, uh... Alright, fall through the balcony. Like that. Alright, I might be able to do it if I speed up, like, well, or press this button. This is like the easiest Resident Evil puzzle ever. Um, alright, alright, you're gonna wanna move this one to the right. Then, move this one to the right. And... That opens, and that's the uh, eat the serpent plate, I think. Yes, the serpent stone. I call it a plate because it looks like a plate. All right, and now we can go through the double doors. Going up top, you can't even go there yet. You need the heart key, I think. But yeah, uh, when I was like, "Oh my God, it's a little girl," I'm like. Like, I was just thinking of, uh, like, I was playing Kingdom Hearts 2, you know how, like, every time an organization member shows up, I'm like, oh my god, it's a guy in a black cloak. Yeah, I can shoot this guy from all the way over there. Alright, are these guys going to get up, like, anytime soon? Like, well, this guy did. Uh, 
Okay. Alright, lower the emergency ladder, push the button. Lower the emergency ladder, and I'm probably gonna have to... God damn this cutscene! Alright. Oh, I have to switch over the cards.